Choi, she made the comments during a televised debate a little over a week ago, and now many are saying the things she said simply aren't true. You're not gonna solve the comment came just after Republican candidate Matthew Jetty challenged SB 1070. These people, a lot of them, are just trying to feed their family. That's a Republican. They just want to work. Isn't that a Republican mantra? Then the governor jumped in. They are a nation of laws, and they're coming across our border illegally. And the majority of them, in my opinion, and I think in the opinion of law enforcement, is that they're not coming here to work. They're coming here, and they're bringing drugs, and they're doing drop houses, and they're extorting people, and they're terrorizing the families. That is, the, that is the truth, Matt. That is the truth. That comment has angered immigrant rights advocates. A blatant mischaracterization. It is not based on fact. And she cited no facts, no studies, no statistics. And everybody knows it's just plainly not the truth. Attorney and activist Antonio Bustamante believes the governor is just trying to capitalize on the political boost she got after signing 1070. To keep fanning the flames, however, of, of that popularity by saying things that are not true and things that she did not back up with any statistics. We contacted the governor's office and asked her if she stood by her comments. She responded with this statement. The simple truth is that the majority of human smuggling in our state is under the direction of the drug cartels, which are by definition smuggling drugs. Even the Border Patrol has weighed in on this one, telling the Associated Press that the majority of people continue to come across in search of work, not to smuggle drugs. I'm Major Hasbin, Fox 10 News.